everyone. Welcome back to the Winner's Circle. I'm Derek. I'm Tiffany. And I'm Cody. And guys, we're going to be talking about episode number seven of The Traders. If you haven't already watched the series, make sure you do. It's available now on Peacock. All 10 episodes are available to watch. I have to tell you, tell you the show, the series is absolute fire. Not just saying it because my boy was on it because he knows I love him, but I would say the truth. We probably wouldn't be covering it. It's yeah. actually really, really good. The show, I, I truly would be shocked if it doesn't get renewed because the concept is great. A couple tweaks here and there, but I think it's a phenomenal show with a great backstory, a great a great take on a reality show that we haven't seen. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you do. And before you check it out, remember, like, subscribe, and comment below. We'd love to hear that and share. Cody, why don't you take us off this episode? Because we're finishing off of the roundtable, and I think the only person equipped to bring us into the top of this episode as we're leaving the last episode is you, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, so the last episode ends with the the deliberation has happened. Everybody writes their votes down, and now everybody starts sharing their votes. And so you're seeing some votes are coming my way, some votes are going Rachel's way, and they do it on purpose. Obviously, it's like almost like how Big Brother kind of lines us up and sets us up yep. to go into the DR to vote because they're like, all right, we kind of know where it's going, so we want to make sure we have we we keep it we keep everybody on their toes. So ultimately, it turns. In my direction. Cody, when do you realize it, though? Because because just to, just to clarify for everybody watching at home, going into the roundtable, you do not think you're going home, correct? Right. The only reason why I knew, which they don't show this, that it was it was coming my way was we're walking up to the roundtable and Quentin and I are walking side by side because we were like talking. We're walking side by side. And he turns to me and like whispers to me and goes, they're coming for you. Just wait. Just wait until they say something. Don't try to get in front of it. And I was like, done. I was like, perfect. So he he tipped me off. So I started preparing, obviously. Okay. So I start preparing. Quinn, I'm like, okay, what am I going to say? What am I going to, who am I going to, how am I going to direct it? It's already thing. So I was preparing from when he said that to me until the whole process was unfolding, which is a little, it's not a lot of time. I have about like two minutes to start preparing what I'm going to say. But again, it just shows like, it was how tight we were. It's like Quentin like tips me off when, Again, he doesn't have to. He's in the conversations where it's kind of coming my way. And he's like, I can't just – I can't let this blindside him. And so he like lets me know as we're walking up, which they don't show it. So, But even at this point, you're, okay, you're prepared for that. You know the faithfuls are going to come after you. It's part of the game. Yeah. They got to. But at this point, are you, is there any indication in your mind, any inclination that your traitor par- counterparts might be flipping on you as well? Was right. there any verbal, nonverbal things that were said or done where you're like – Something feels different today. Like, uh uh-oh, I might be in trouble. Or are you thinking, I got at least two people riding for me in here? No, I had, um, well, because Christian had mentioned to me, like, turning on Sari, and I said no. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, I wasn't around them during the day. Like, when we were were in the castle, and it was daytime, I wasn't, like, trying to talk to them, because I I knew I'm going to be able to talk to them in the turret. So... If they never came and seek me out, I wasn't going to like seek them out because again, there's still a lot of people. There's okay. not like – it's not – it's really difficult to say because you're – it's really hard to find alone time and one-on-one time with people because there's always people kind of popping in and groups in, in certain rooms. So it was really hard to get one-on-one time. But I had no idea that they were – they were turning on me, which is why – when when Sari said what she said at the round table, I was like, oh, you guys are turning on me too. And that's when you realize I was like, I know it's coming on you. And so when Sari was saying what she was saying, I was like, oh, you're turning too. You're following them. Got it. Okay. So that's so what I you knew. Because you start ah, to get like, you can see the look in your in your eyes, on your face. Um, you can see like the the light bulb goes off like. It's about to be yeah. me. And and you see you get emotional. Like it's almost Even like before. you're yeah, yeah. It's almost like you're yeah. at the table, you're holding back. Like and I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's hurt or shock or relief or uh Yeah. It was is- um it was like heavy relief. Like okay. crazy, crazy relief. That was one thing that anybody that watched it that was there when we were filming mm-hmm. said they were like, We couldn't take our eyes off of you the entire time. 
and we could see you turning into yourself slowly as a round table. Cause I started to feel, I was like, Oh, it's coming my way. And it wasn't like anger. It wasn't, you were I wasn't mad. I was so relieved. I was so relieved to be done. And I think it was like there, I remember this one time, like there was somebody that was Angelica. Angelica was the last one to vote at the table that day. And she wrote down a name and she raced it. And then she wrote and then she raced and then she wrote. And then she was like, I don't know what to do. She's crying. And you could tell, I was like, I could tell when that was happening. I was like, she's going through an internal struggle of writing my name down. Yeah. I'm like, she's battling. She doesn't want to write my name down, but yeah. she's been persuaded by the people that maybe like, like Stephanie yeah. or maybe Rachel. Cause they have different ways to talk. Like and, yeah. oh, Rachel, just like Rachel makes you uncomfortable. When she's in your yeah. face trying she's to get aggressive. you to say she's what you aggressive. want. Yeah. And where me, I'm like, I, I like don't care because it's like if it comes my way, it comes my way. Like I should have done things previously to stop people from coming my way. Not, yeah. okay, we're about to have a round table. Let me get in your face and talk. Yeah. Like Stephanie would try to do stuff like – and it was like I knew when, when Angelica was kind of having the dilemma and then she revealed her vote, which was only like a couple after me. I almost like was like smiling at her like it's okay. Don't worry about it. Like yeah. you shouldn't feel bad for writing my name down because I'm going to reveal in a couple seconds yeah. why you shouldn't feel bad. So like don't beat yourself up on it. Right. And it was in that moment when I saw her write my name down where I was like – I was relieved. Like I was so happy to, like that. I was like I think it's coming my way and I couldn't I have been more that's relieved. I, like, I, was, I'm, I'm, I'm I was watching done. the round table like – Cody is about to cry at this table. Oh, yeah. And I, I'm watching, like, I'm trying not to cry because I feel like you're holding back a cry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, Would you um, text yeah. us in the group chat? You're like, Cody, I just love you so much. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I love you, too. You were, watching, so it with, you were watching it with Hannah, right, or whatever? And you're like, yes. yeah, I love you, Cody. I, it's yeah. so, like, you got to get to where the, you, you know, it all comes out because... When it all comes out, I am like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it was like I was honestly. It's so weird to describe it this way, but the emotional and the mental struggle that I was going through, it was like such a relief to knowing that I'm done. Like I like I was so so. Ultimately, what happens? They finally, finally read everybody's votes, and yep. I have the most votes. So I step into the truth circle. And like immediately when I get in there, like I want to just be like, guys, like I'm so sorry that we all had to go through blah, blah, blah. And I want to say I'm a traitor. And like right when I go to talk, like my heart goes see. into my throat and I like, I can't speak. Do they speak. tell like, you how, okay, what, like on. how you reveal yourself? No. You can get no. up there and say whatever you want. Whatever you want. Okay. Whatever you, you can't want. reveal and that. You can't reveal all the traitors, obviously, for everybody who's like, Why? of course, you, you can't of course do that. not. You cannot do okay. you in the beginning of the season, you vow to yep. not share who the other traders are okay. and like, there's going to be consequences with yeah. that. So okay. I'm not going to get up there and point out people. And then also, okay. yeah, why would I ever do that? that? Not a good look. That would be bad for just all so around. Like I would loser. never be able to go on a show again. It's yeah. like, yeah, you're a sore loser. And I'm yeah. obviously not that guy. Yep. And so it was just like, it, I like wanted to get it out so badly and I just like, couldn't, I had to take a moment and I still couldn't, but I was like, I don't want to take too long. So I'm trying to just talk through it. Cause I was like, I want to get out of here. Like I'm done. Like just get through it. Say what you got to say. That um, seemed like a really hard and, moment. I I I was emotional yeah. with you. It's <laughs> like, <laughs> don't do that. To yeah, me. it was it was crazy. Up. It, it was, was crazy. And then it was like you know I directed something at Quentin, um, which again afterwards I was so mad at because I was like, then I was rattling my head. I was like, I swear if they go after him because I said something to him, I'm gonna be so mad. Yeah, what because say? it was like I just remember? I just appreciated him. Yeah, I said oh, to him, I was oh, like, oh, I, do. I, I was like, this him. was so, yeah, I was like, this is so, this was so difficult on me, but like, you know, you're my brother and if, I hope you understand. And if after this, all I have is you, cool with that. Yeah. And so I you went up to him after I said fooled. I'm a traitor. And <laughs> yeah, I, if anything, I think that helped. I think that helped because people are like, well, clearly Quinn's yeah. not in exactly. on it because he was, yeah. like, or and they could look so, at it as like you were setting him up. I mean, I guess it could yeah. go either way. And yeah. I, and it, it was, I, I just don't feel, but I, I obviously start second guessing and I'm like, I felt like it was, I felt that it would clear him. But then I was like, yeah. this uh, game makes people like get paranoid yeah. and think different things. So I don't know if that's going to hurt him or help him. Yep. And so it was like, it was super, it was super emotional. And you could see like, I don't know, Stephanie like jumped out of her chair 
and like came and hugged me. And it was, I was like, oh my God, I thought everybody was going to be so pissed. They were relieved they finally got someone. I know. Yeah. They were like, <laughs> so like, hyped. You got episode I, seven of 10. They finally got a traitor. <laughs> yeah. I also think that that was the moment that they realized that it is a game. You know, yeah, like, it's tough for you. It, yeah, it, it's tough you, for the you, traitors. They, you want to be mad that somebody was a traitor and that they were, uh, you know, manipulating you. But I think that they actually developed a relationship with you and got to know you in the house a little bit. So they couldn't mm -hmm. be mad because it is a game, which was what Rachel yeah. was saying in the beginning yeah. when people were like, oh, these traitors. She's like, you realize it's a game. They're like, oh, she must be a traitor because she's saying this is just a game. This, but it right, is yeah. just a game. So it's like you can't yeah. have the funny thing about Rachel saying that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The funny thing about that is that I kept saying that to Rachel when she was like attacking me. She was like, this is so like personal. I can't believe it. I'm like, it's a game, Rach. Yeah. Like, <laughs> this isn't real life. Please, it's a game. Well, well, I don't want to use it's a game playing. when it works for me. You know, I don't want to yeah, use it's, it's a like, game. It's, so when it's, it's like Suri you. using, oh, he's your boy outside the house, but, you know, Stephanie is my girl, so you can't have him, but I'll mm -hmm. keep her. It's like every, and we all do this. That's why I don't find any like malice in it. When I was on Big Brother, it was like, I know that's your friend, but you have to cut them, but I'm not going to cut mine. Yeah. Right. You know, so it's like we all do that. It's all part of the game. It's the person that does that and keeps their people around them that always usually goes to the end and has benefits from that. Yeah. yeah. So there's well, really like no, you know, it's not you just, anything I was going to cut you off. No, it's just not anything bad. Okay. Okay. Um, one final thing before we move on from this, because we could probably talk about this the whole episode. The the fact that Christian and Sari decided to cut you objectively looking at it, just my opinion. If you want to win this game as a trader, this is an absolute necessity. Yeah, you totally. have to turn on each other because absolutely. personally, I'm thinking about if I played this game, how would I try to find the traders? And the biggest thing would be voting patterns. You could go back in your bedroom or whatever at the end of the night and write down who's voting for who each week and who's not voting for who and who's always voting together. And it's not a science, but you can probably start to put together patterns mm -hmm. of how people are voting each week and how certain people who don't appear to be close with each other on the surface are always voting together regardless of what yeah. happens throughout the day and so this is an absolute necessity to keep people off the scent i wish it wasn't i wish you would have pulled the trigger over mm -hmm. over a christian but yeah it's an absolute necessity so i think as much as i didn't want to see you go you yeah. got to do it if you want to get to the end to. as a trader you have to switch up gears because as less people are there it's going to become more and more obvious who the people are yeah and i wasn't willing to do it until it was like way too late. Cause then it was like, mm. I just couldn't. And then the only yeah, person I that, that I would have honestly, and it's so bad. It's like the only person I was thinking was Christian, but I Christian, I think if, if when Christian mentioned to me, like, dude, three after the Ryan thing, I think we, we, I think I would have been in a little bit of a better, it would have built trust. But when I like shut it down, he was like, okay, you're not the guy. You're not, you're not the guy. I need yeah, somebody go to who's gonna. Get you. Yeah, he's like, I yeah. need somebody. I need someone who's gonna that's gonna be cutthroat. You're, you're slipping, yep. bro. You're yeah. slipping, and you're letting it get to you, which is the truth. And so, like, that's why I was like, I don't hold any fault that they did it. Even yeah. that Christian kind of went and seeked it out, and it is what it is. Because also, you got to think about it this way. For them, it's like they're going through it, and they're hearing people mention my name, and although. Mm. And they're, these are people like for Sari that she was really close with. So what's she going to do? Like Christian didn't have to, to be 100% honest. And I found out after the fact, because I was like asking, I was like, who started it? And it was like, uh, well, Christian was kind of the one that started pushing to vote for you that night. So he was doing it to the faithfuls too. Yeah. That's why I, said so that I was like, oh. I was like, oh, he got me. honestly, like, I don't even hold, I hit up Christian. I was like, bro, I know I talk a lot of shit on you, but like, I, I do, I like you and I hope you don't take it as like, I, I dislike, cause like, I don't dislike people. I was like, in the moment in that game, he was getting on my nerves, but I hit him up cause I was like, I don't want him to think like, oh, Cody's I talking about shit on anything. me. I see him on anything. I'm kicking his ass out first. <laughs> <laughs> shout out oh, yeah, to Christian. Christian, <laughs> Christian say, shout out Christian. Yeah, shout out I'm Christian. I see again, you. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming for your neck. <laughs> you out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. No, I mean, listen. All right. Well, that's the end of the winner's circle covering the traders. Nothing out now. Just kidding. Yeah, we're done. Uh, so, I hope yeah. you guys enjoyed it. So, we got to go. We go right into a murder here, right? Cody goes home. They congrats. You finally got a trader of Faithfuls. But we go, we still have a murder because we held off on the murder because right. of this twist, yeah. right? This twist kind of yeah. prevented someone from getting murdered. So, now 
I believe in the episode, the way I have it written down, we get right into the breakfast the next morning yeah. after your banishment. And they do a little bit in the trader of the traders and the turret, and then they bring them to the morning where and they decide between Rachel, Kate, and Angelica. And they and the traders ultimately come to this. They're in this dilemma because they don't know if Rachel or Angelica have the um, that medallion, the shield, the shield. The shield mm -hmm. that yeah. keeps them from being murdered. So they have to gamble. And they're like, and they decide they don't want to go with Kate because they think it would be too obvious. Yeah. And so they're like, we have to gamble and they go with Angelica, which I thought was an awesome play by them. Yeah. yeah. Smart move. Thought yeah, it was an yeah, awesome yeah, play. I, I, especially considering she wasn't completely onto things, but she, it felt like she was starting to put pieces together. You know, especially with her vote for you as well. So, I mean, it's one of those things where at that point it's a crapshoot. I think the one person you can't vote for, actually Kate and Rachel are two people I wouldn't vote for mm, because nope. so many people mm -hmm. were, were thinking they were traitors. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like you, you want to still them keep in. them in the game. Yeah. Uh, so, and then so, it's luck, dude, because it was like one out of three could have had the shield. Uh, yeah, and, and I mean, it at that goes point, to Ari, who wasn't even up to be murdered. It's classic. And Ari. Ari. And then we're going to get an Ari more. <laughs> Ari's the, the king of the shield. This guy's the, the king, king of the shield. Yeah. There's a little... There's a little foreshadowing for you. He is definitely the king of the shield. All right, so the game, we does not a ton to carry. This is the one with the memory where there's like a, a, a yeah. ghost. But they kind butchered of this. And none of us were doing, none of us were looking at that. I don't think anybody would have done well. I can't even say, I would have been no. like, I didn't look around this room. Oh, yeah. That was changed. terrible. So the fact that they got one was, yeah. it was actually impressive. Yeah, I would have <laughs> so done So the ghost memory happened. Nothing crazy there. And because the episode was packed with even you at the top of the show, right? Yeah, that was a good yeah. section of it. And then it got into the band, the the murder. We got into the game, and then we have another round table. We, this is the one episode I think where we have three people go home. Yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. round, table, round table, you weren't there. I'm not there, but again, it just goes along the lines of like they they start you know speculating on Shelby. Yeah. Oh my! And like Shelby's yes, be just. And because she didn't respond again, at the last bullshit. round table. Yeah. Because she didn't respond. Because and, and like, you don't know why she didn't respond. I mean, know. she could have responded because she was like, because Shelby was skeptical of me. And then I got very close with Shelby. And then she could have been like, I can't believe I let him play me like that and make me think that, that he that, was a fake. Like, yeah. she could have been, been my, that. That would have been my thing. Yeah, like, 100%, when, she, when, right? they, when they were like, oh, you didn't respond, like, you weren't happy that he left. Well, she also didn't vote yet. for you. And so yeah, if nice. it's me, I would have been sitting there shocked, like, damn. He, I got played. Yep. So yeah, I'm happy that he's gone, but I'm I'm kind of messed up. I'm not I'm disappointed in myself. And so, you know, you don't know why her yeah. reaction was the way it was, but we're always looking for a reason why someone looks suspicious. Mm -hmm. And it's yeah. like uh, like again, it's like two and two together. Do you think a traitor would allow something as obvious as not reacting to a traitor revealing themselves make them yeah. a traitor? It's like the rationale was like Paranoia, I don't know. Man. Again, hindsight 2020. I could be a Monday morning quarterback wow. all day. But I remember I remember being in the house and thinking they are so off in their train of their line of thinking. And so mm -hmm. watching it back, I'm like, yeah, it's they're showing it exactly how I felt in the house. Cause like in the house, it was always emotions. And it was never like it was net other than Kyle, he was the only one that was really on and, and hitting a lot of the people and his rationale was pretty good everybody else is like shelby didn't react to me it's like you, you like quinton didn't really react other than like dropping like other than he, he didn't really react either and mm -hmm. then i embraced him it's like what shelby because she didn't show a reaction it's like and what? christian's overreacting and christian going berserk yeah. <laughs> like christian going nuts over it it's I'm, like i'm shaking and it's like i <laughs> You know who else didn't react? His Kate. acting so horrible. Kate didn't Kate. react. Well, because Kate didn't think you were and, a traitor either, right? I mean, and didn't Kate she... didn't think it was. So again, it's like the people that didn't vote for me that then got that maybe felt like, man, that was I can't believe that's so annoying. Like yeah. they're not reacting because they feel they feel played or they feel like, man, I can't believe I was so wrong. Like this game is getting to me, and everybody just immediately wants to go after them. I'm like, yeah. man. So now I it gets really bad at with how they come for no Shelby. Reason. They come at her mm -hmm. so hard. It was really she's, 
she's struggling through having left her child. I know how that is as a mom, like leaving. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you can check out, you know, you're you're totally. you're wondering, like, what am I even doing here? You know, and what is my yeah. kid doing? And how does how does my kid feel? And you, you go through a lot of emotions when you're away. And it, I felt bad that they were just attacking her for having no reaction. And yeah. she was like. It almost seems like she had checked out because she was just like, I'm just going to get up here and let you guys feel dumb. Yeah. And that's why, like, it, it was it was really funny to me how Kate kind of hit them afterwards. Well done. You sent home a single mother. She did. Because she's saying the things that, like, that people on the outside are like, good stuff, everybody. Like, you yeah. really had no rationale to go after. Like, her, their rationale going after her was, oh, she's saying similar things to Cody. And they're not thinking like, oh, maybe Cody was just trying to use that. So now let's go elsewhere. They were like, oh, Cody, Shelby saying the same things as Cody. And it really was like taking things that Shelby was saying. Like mm-hmm. I wasn't like coming up with that. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, that said, I, I think I could use that. Like, let me yeah. use it. And nobody's like thinking past that. They're just like, oh, they were saying similar things. She didn't vote. Kate didn't vote. I think it's Cody, Shelby, Kate. <laughs> and it was like, What? <laughs> What? Yeah, and they did, and they and they were certain about it, and sure enough, they f- they vote for for Shelby. She gets up there and she's like, "Congrats, guys! Got another faithful." And Christian yeah. and Sari skate by. But another this is—I ki- was going to say—but this is kind of when they come for Sari. Like they start questioning Sari. Like somebody said yeah. that Stephanie bit. said that you were upset that you weren't a traitor, and it almost seems like they're going to start wondering things yeah, about to- Sari. But it wasn't even like they were telling her that for suspicion or to consider her as a traitor. It's like, they're just telling her so you can know the things that are being said about you. (laughs) Yeah. 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 No, it's, I I, I thought at this point, obviously I had a little insight about the show, but I did think that it was going to get, the heat was going to turn up for Christian and, and Sari and we will see how it plays out. I think the episode ends with Ari winning another shield, right? Don't they do another armory? And he, I have on my paper. Yeah. Cause they, his group, him, Christian, uh, Christian, Quinton, and Ari are in a group. They got the one item right the fastest, and so now they have a trip to the armory. Ari gets the armory. Ari wins the shield. Ari gets the shield again. So the recap, Cody is now banished. Angelica (laughs) is now murdered, and Shelby is now banished as well. So uh, that's where we end the episode. I do want to say one thing. We don't do it a lot, but as you can notice, the beautiful Tiffany is wearing when the, you know what, is hard, the heart is soft and that's a shirt on the winner's circle so you can check that out if you go over to our instagram page or twitter i believe no we don't have a twitter or in the youtube the link is right in the bio the link in the youtube YouTube is even better you can go on there there's a merch store up there you can buy winner's circle t-shirts you can buy uh the that shirt that tiffany is wearing right now me and cody always wear the winner's circle t-shirts too on here a lot Mm -hmm. Uh, go out there Cop yourself a t-shirt. Cop yourself some merch. Yes. Um, any other final words before thanks we go? For all, thanks to, to all my supporters because I get tagged a lot and I see people wearing these shirts. A lot of girls wear these. They like it. So thanks, girls. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> Such we a true that. statement. Guys, as always, appreciate you joining us here on The Winner Circle. We will see you soon.